Attacking principles are the basic fundamental behaviors you do when your team is in the attacking phase of the game. Generally speaking, the first attacking principle is to create width and depth. This is important because you want to create as much space as possible to give yourself enough time to make the best decision. If you don't create width and depth, then the playing area will become crowded and you will eliminate the time and space you could have to make the best decisions. To achieve this, you will have to occupy the widest areas of the field while also making the playing field longer. During the attacking phase of the game, we attack in a 4-3-3 formation. The 2, 3, 7, and 11 creates the width by opening the playing field horizontally, while the 4, 5, 9, 7, and 11 creates the depth by opening the playing field vertically. This will give the midfielders more time and space to create width and depth amongst themselves. You can apply this principle to any formation and at any level. Just keep in mind where the widest areas of the field are and where the last defender is. Are you able to see the first attacking principle now? Let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video.